Um, my name is Jake from the Long Lost Somethings. I'm going to be playing a song called Manhunt. It's about running away. It was my severed head inside a grocery bag. It didn't look half bad But I never felt pain like that It was a sacred truth Plastered in front of you Violent in what it said Ended with a graffiti tag It said they're just like tattoos Bloody reminders of you But so much ugly It was the lust of the flesh Got caught up digging through trash Found a couple of cuts on my calf I'm not better, gotta give that a rest It was a full family trip Fell reckless and so full of it Got a couple of dollars from tips But never found a place to spend It was a backwards goodbye The kind where you stick your head up too high Wanted hope but never asked why Turns out I was always pretending Never knew two rights from wrong Never knew the point of this all Take out my habits, some do Felt a presence but it's never consistent And there's nothing Until the sunrise will pass Just call it a manhunt Just call it a manhunt I'm pouring myself out to apathy I'm one step I've always loved music, you know, like most people, like you hear a song you love on the radio when you're a kid and you're like, man, I feel something I've never felt before. But uh, I started playing guitar when I was 12, I think, and that was mostly because there was this kid at church camp who I thought was really cool. He played guitar and I was like, oh, he's getting girls playing guitar, so I should do the same thing. So it really started uh, with a lot of self-interest. 
if that makes sense. This next one's called Insomnia. It's about, uh, just like it says, insomnia. Beatles, of course. Everybody loves the Beatles. Elliot Smith, um, Bright Eyes. I used to listen to a lot. Um, you know, Neil Young. Everybody loves Neil Young. Just like, pretty much, if you hear it in my music, chances are I'm into it. For the most part, it's indie rock. You know, obviously this was a little more stripped down acoustic stuff, but we've got a band, and I would say we're just indie rock, which is a broad term, but easiest way to go about it, so. At the heart of it, I think, is self-expression. A lot of people go into it um, wanting to make something other people like, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever. I mean, I even encourage that, but I think the point of songwriting is to express something you don't feel like you can just express in a sentence. Someone will just give me an idea, and yeah, that idea can move me, but a song can move me in a way that just words never could. So I think, um, do it for you at the end of the day. This one is uh, 
quieter, this next one. Not as loud. It's called Tourniquet. I need a tourniquet I took a needle that I'll never forget Something sweet and so divine But yet I can still regret I need a little something Need a little something in the morning Forget the hunger though I'm starving Mashed potatoes in the long run Will they satisfy Take more. Give me a blood clot so I can seize out on the floor. Don't wanna rely, don't wanna rely on memory anymore. I need a tourniquet. I took a needle that I'll never forget. Something sweet and so divine. Originally, it was just me writing and recording all the songs on my own. Um, so I have a home studio. I would just do the drum tracks, bass tracks, guitar tracks. Um, but now we're in, we're kind of at a point where um, I'll present the songs to my bassist and my drummer Chris and Josh, and um, they kind of take it from there. So like I'll write the lyrics and melody and the chord progression usually, and then we kind of come together to get the finished product. But I'll have a demo or two by myself, usually for starting with a song. And as far as like lyrics, chord progression and stuff goes, um, there's not really anything definite as to like what comes first. It's just kind of, sometimes I'll write a chord progression and then I'll be like, man, this melody would be really cool over it. Sometimes I'll find a melody and be like, man, this chord progression would be really cool with it. Sometimes I'll find lyrics and be like, man, this chord progression and this melody would go really cool with this. So it's, it, it has a, nothing definite. There's not really a consistent way to it, just however it comes, I guess. We're working on a record, but we've been talking about it for way too long. Anyone in a band probably understands uh, that beginning process of talking about making a record and then uh, that ending process about talking about making a record are usually years apart, but... Um, we're working on it. I'm still working on writing the songs. My buddy Chris, he's the drummer. He just moved, so we're trying to get the studio set up again there. And then once that's done, I think we'll actually make a record. And this is my last song. It's called Count My Antlers. Um, a lot of people call it the underwear song because I sing about my underwear in it, but it is not about underwear, actually.
sketch you out sometimes I sketch you out sometimes And we live inside our water balloon Flowing Cut the bands within our hands We're only zip tied We're only zip tied It's not cool You're in my lane You're in my lane Count my Thanks, everybody.